Hello and a very good morning once again. I greet you in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ, the very name which gives us joy and victory. Let's uh, look into the word of God from Proverbs 12, 25. Anxiety in the heart of man produces depression. Fear always results in depression. Fear or anxiety often leads to sin. The most common emotion in the lives of human beings is fear. Fear is not only common to people in general, but it is even common to believers. If you see the life of one of the great prophets, Elijah, he performed 16 great miracles as we all know. But after he did a great miracle and killed all 450 Baal prophets, King Ahab's wife, Jezreel, threatened to kill the prophet. We can see in 1 Kings 18, 19-22. So Elijah literally ran from there to Beersheba in Judah. And he sat under a broom tree and prayed that he might die. We all know because of fear, Abraham too told lies and has taken few wrong decisions. Many Christians are not progressing. We as Christians are sometimes not progressing spiritually because we are afraid of what people think or what people say. Well, half of the health of the human being or human race is lost because of the fear of assuming things wrong. which are not actually there. So except those who are mentally retarded, every human soul has an element of fear. The degree of fear may vary. Every human being is isolated in his or her own struggles. There are a handful of struggles full of issues the human being faces. As I said earlier, they could be either rational, physical, mental or of social form. Someone can always be hostile towards you. Many COVID patients died, not just because of virus which affected them, but because of fear of what happens during the course of treatment has affected them. And so they had anxiety and worry and their BP and sugar levels shot up and few died because of cardiac arrest. One of my friends, own brother, who has been taking this treatment died of cardiac arrest. So fear is basically an awareness and feeling of being scared, anxious, insecure, feeling weak, feeling rejected, threatened, helpless, worried, feeling inadequate and inferior, insignificant, feeling nervous, low esteem and we can add several factors. These feelings take birth in our minds and so the fear grips us. Whether you, are rich, whether you are a rich businessman or have a big job with hefty salary or an ordinary job or, e- or even a small job, fear is part of the human being and it's no respect to a person's. Is there a way out? Yes, it is very much in our living word of God. In Psalms 34.4, we can see, I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Yes, dear beloved, the more we seek the Lord, the less we have the fear. When we are closely knit in Christ, no Goliath can torment us and we can overpower any power that comes across us. So let us draw nigh to the Lord. Gracious Father, we thank you, Lord, for enlightening us through thy word that we can combat any form of fear uh, like how David and Daniel dealt by seeking you and drawing near to you. Give us that desire to seek you more and more so that fear, Lord, whittles down in our lives and becomes insignificant. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.